Hello and welcome to this demonstration of Sony Soloist and how to create an automatic comparative recording exercise which I will refer to as an ACR. To begin with I've opened up the Sony Soloist client which you can see on the screen in front of you and now I'm going to right click on Sony and click on tools and the second on the item auto comparative recording editor. The Sony Soloist client has remained open, as you can see at the top, but also now we have the automatic comparative recording editor at the bottom. There are two ways by which I can create an ACR file. The first is by actually recording a new sound file, or by opening up an established sound file and using it. In this demonstration I am going to start by recording a sound file and then by putting an auto comparative recording editor file with that. So to begin with I'm going to record a very simple sound file. This could be the introduction to a set of questions such as a GCSE presentation. So for example these are the questions relating to your GCSE oral examination. First you will hear the question and then you will be given the appropriate time in which to give your answer. Question number 1. What is your name? Question number 2. Where do you live? Question number 3. How old are you? Question number 4. What are your hobbies? And I'll stop there. So some very simple questions. I've only clearly done four questions there with an introduction and you could do as many as you would uh, require. So I'm just going to play that sound file back just to make sure that I have uh, a recording. This could be the introduction to a set of questions such as a GCSE presentation. Okay, so I have that. So first off is I'm going to save my sound file. If I right click on Sony um, or rather in this case I'm going to close file actually. Save sound recording before closing, yes. And I'm going to save this on my desktop of my computer and I'm going to call this Demo ACR and save it. This is being saved as a WAV file and save. So that's been saved. That sound file is not open. So now I'm going to open that sound file again. So I'm going to go to my desktop on my computer and open up demo acr.wvav and play and there it is. This could be the introduction to a set of questions such as a GCSE presentation. So for example these are the questions relating to your GCSE oral examination. First you will hear the question and then you will be given the appropriate time in which to give your answer. Okay, as you can see I've played the sound file through and stopped it there at the point after which I have done my introduction. This would mark the end of the first segment. So down here on the comparative edit recording editor I'm now going to click on the plus to add current time. The stimulus length refers to the length of the uh, teacher-lecturer conversation. In this case, that's the point at which it happened. OK, now I'm going to play the sound file on again until after the end of question number one. Question number one. What is your name? And stop there and add that again. Question number two. Where do you live? Question number three. How old are you? Question number four. What are your hobbies? So you can see there that I clicked on add current time at the end of each of the questions as they play through. Now for this first section this was the actual introduction so the recording length here that I would live like a student to give um, is zero seconds because I don't want them to give an intro any any answers so it's going to be zero seconds and this is my question number one 
and the amount of time the student has here to answer stimulus length really means that in question one I asked what is your name and so the amount of time that the student would have to answer would be the same as what is your name okay so I'm going to change that here for five seconds the next one for five seconds and so on down the list each question can be individually tailored in terms of seconds or for example I might choose to go five seconds and apply that to all let's just change the first segment the introduction back to zero now that has created our segments we now need to save those so I'm going to go up here to the uh, cassette and click on that one and save what is called an ACR file, auto comparative recording file, an ACR file with the same name as my sound file in the same folder so you can see we're in desktop. For an ACR to work you have to have the sound file and the ACR file with the same names in the same folder. So in this example here I have demo ACR .wav the sound file and demo acr.acr in desktop as well and now click on save to save those i have a few different options here so for example this one here play program and record voice play program twice record voice all of these different options will work in different ways and i have a number of different parameters here which you can read through at your leisure and are quite self-explanatory. OK, let's go and give this one a go. So I'm now going to close the ACR recording editor and in Sony Soloist I'm going to open a file and you can see I've got my demo ACR.wav file. If I open this and type star dot star to show all files you will see that over here where if I can find it, there is my WAV file, my sound file, and also my ACR file. I want to open this one and open. The sound file is opened, and the student is being given a, a, a question. This is an auto commemorative recording exercise. You will hear the program, the teacher's voice, one time, and then be able to record your voice. And click on play to begin this. This could be the introduction to a set of questions such as a GCSE presentation. So for example, these are the questions relating to your GCSE oral examination. First you will hear the question and then you will be given the appropriate time in which to give your answer. Question number one, what is your name? So here I'd be giving my name and you can see from the counter that this is counting down. Question number two, where do you live? Again, you can see the counter is counting down. The slider is continuing. Question number three, how old are you? And again, here I will be giving my answer. Question number four, what are your hobbies? And again, give my answer. If I click on the repeat play phrase, then I will be allowed to repeat the last question. Now if I click on close file, save sound recording, yes, and I can save this with my name and sound recording, and save. And that completes this demonstration. We hope that you have a go at doing an ACR in Sony Soloist. Thank you.